All right, so uh, we've covered something that uh, is uh, atheistic in materialism. We've covered something that's atheistic in in uh, postmodernism. We've covered something that is polytheistic, yeah. super polytheistic, yeah. pantheism. Yeah. Uh, and now, what do we do when we come face to face with a monotheistic version uh, like Islam? Hmm. And so, um, d- d- does does our does our Romans one challenge still hold here? Uh, does does Islam um, with this different view of who God is, does it uh, um, also enter into this um, uh, devaluing uh, humanity in, in mm-hmm. some way that this, is this is reductionism yeah. that uh, was and that results in devaluing of right. humans? Right. right. Yeah. Well, okay. So uh, we won't get into the the idea of you know does does the the Muslim God equal the same thing as the Judeo Christian God, uh, but we can come to an agreement that. Uh, our version of Jesus and their version of Jesus, uh, someone's wrong. Right. Maybe both, sure, uh, <laughs> but uh, but th- there's a differences that it, that you can point to. Uh, the Quran teaches that Jesus is not divine, but is only a messenger of Allah, um, and uh, that um, that uh, the Quran continuously emphasizes the unity and oneness of God. It can be said that the version of very raison d'être. Ooh. of Islam is to assert in a final and categorical manner uh, the oneness of God and the nothingness of all before the majesty of that one. Mm. And that is very prominent. I, I mean, um, uh, the, the monotheism uh, in, in, in uh, Islam is absolute. There, there is no concept of a trinity. Uh, that's, uh, I, I believe the term is tawhid. To, to, uh, it's blasphemous uh, mm. to the point of damnation mm-hmm. um, that, that's, that's done there. 